Welcome into College Football Now. I am Brett Scott. That is Tom Downey. And Tom, you're back. It's bowl season. <laughs> Thanks. It's bowl <laughs> season. We're going to take a look through our college football bowl projections. Yeah. And of course, it all starts with the college football playoff. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the, f the last fourth team in, mm -hmm. let's say? Unless we there's chaos. Unless there's chaos <laughs> and Alabama loses or something. Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame appear to be in. Mm -hmm. That, of course, assumes Georgia loses to Alabama, but if Georgia wins, you never know. Yeah, real chaos then. Here's where the real question lies, yeah. though. Type S for Sooners, type B for Buckeyes. Let us know who you're a fan of, Oklahoma or Ohio State, and that's where our projections will begin, If too. Oklahoma wins and they're favored to right now, and I think they will, and what I think will be a close game against Texas, always bet on Tom Herman to cover the spread. <laughs> Oklahoma, I think it's in. They're already ahead they're of already Ohio ahead. State. That, I can't see any scenario in which Oklahoma wins, Ohio State wins, there's chalk elsewhere, and the Buckeyes leapfrog the Sooners. Let's, of course, take a look at Oklahoma's road to the CFP. Mm -hmm. They play Texas in the Big 12 championship game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. They do need a loss among that top four to get in. Which they'll get. Which they'll get because Alabama and Georgia play. But if it's a Bama loss. If it's a Bama loss, things mm -hmm. get a little bit interesting. So, of course, if you're a Sooners fan, you're rooting for Alabama to win. You're also rooting for Northwestern to win just to get rid of just those Buckeyes it. and secure it. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we'll take a look at the flip side. The yeah. Ohio State Buckeyes, of course, got that huge win over Michigan in the Damn game. Impressive. Very impressive. And all of a sudden, we're talking about Ohio State again. Can Ohio State get back into the college football playoff again, Tom? I do find it pretty funny that Urban Meyer is cheering for Tom Herman this weekend, too, by the way. <laughs> Urban Meyer and Tom Herman, best of buds, right? Yes. Uh, so, of course, Ohio State versus Northwestern in the Big Ten championship game. Uh, they need a convincing win in a lot of ways. Probably do need some help just because the committee yesterday put Oklahoma ahead of Ohio State. And Texas ahead of North Western, well, yeah. Western as well, who dropped in the rankings after winning, which I found really confusing. Yeah, but anyway. interesting. So, of course, yeah. if you're a Buckeyes fan, you're rooting for Alabama, you're rooting for Texas. All right, Tom, drum roll. Let's get into our projected bowl matchups. We start with the Orange Bowl. That's where number one Alabama is going to be sent. They're going to play number four Oklahoma. We think Oklahoma wins. That puts them in. We think Alabama wins. That moves Georgia out. Mm -hmm. So Oklahoma, then, they have that high-powered offense. That could be a bit of a high-scoring game, in part because we know Oklahoma yeah. can't stop anybody. Can't stop anybody. And I think that Oklahoma offense can put up the big numbers as well to score against Alabama. Uh, of defense. course, Oklahoma versus Ohio State, both teams – relative weakness is on the, the defensive defense. side of the ball. Yeah. I would love to see the Big 11 championship, Oklahoma yes. versus Ohio State. I was going to say that, too. I would too. love to see yes. that game. Play-in game. All right, the other CFP semifinal is the Cotton Bowl. That's where Clemson and Notre Dame would play. That is our projection. We'll mm -hmm. take a look quickly at our projected final CFP rankings. Mm -hmm. Number one, Alabama. They moved to 13-0. Clemson, 13-0. Notre Dame sits at 12-0, and an undefeated season. Very impressive by the Irish this year. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma gets that win, go to 12-1, and and get that fourth slot. We've got Georgia ahead of Ohio State in the final rankings. Tom, I think it would it it's could flip It's an easy flip-flop as well. Um, it's dependent. Long, look, if Georgia loses by three points yeah. or a touchdown, or if they just cover the spread against Alabama, I can see the committee knowing how they feel about the SEC schools putting Georgia above Ohio State if they don't have a convincing win against, frankly, a pretty average North Western team. Yeah, I mean, I think Ohio State fans can be mad about this is all, all they want. And, you know, Don't rightfully so, they, they could get left out of the, the CFP for the second straight year yeah, they could. as a Big Ten champion. And that's, in a way, in a lot of ways, not right. And yeah. the system still needs to change. We've gotten to four teams. Go to 16. We're, we're up for eight teams. <laughs> eight, but anyway. I like more. Let's take a look at the uh, latest CFP championship odds via our friends at BetDSI. Alabama minus 250, still the heavy betting no favorite. No surprise there. Clemson and then Notre Dame at plus 1,100. The other three teams that are in the mix, Georgia plus 1,400. Ohio State does have better odds than Oklahoma. Because that's the matchup. Day. Exactly. That is the Big 12 or Big 10 championship game matchups. They view Oklahoma's matchup against Texas a little bit more difficult, which mm. makes sense considering yeah, Texas natural. already beat Oklahoma. Of course, you can get in on these odds and only a few more college football yeah. games to do so. Take advantage of the 120% deposit bonus. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code live120. Tom, can you do math? Yes, somewhat. So if I, if I deposit $100 with BetDSI in that promo code, What's they're, happening? They're going to give you an extra 120. So I'm going to have 220. I'm going to have 220 dollars 
worth in my bank to bet with on these college football bowl games. All right, let's take a look at this year's New Year's Six Bowls. Of course, they rotate with the orange and the cotton in the CFP this year. The peach, the fiesta, the rose, and the sugar bowl mm -hmm. are your New Year's Six Bowls. Um, and so we're going to start with the peach bowl and our projection here, Michigan versus LSU. Uh, this, of course, Tom, assumes that uh, Ohio State is headed to the Rose Bowl. And I think that's the outcome here. If not, then things get a little bit more dicey. Yep. Michigan probably goes play in the Rose Bowl. Maybe Northwestern gets bumped up anyway. The, the, I think the real question here is, is it Florida or LSU? Yeah. And, Brett, you have a very good point that do we really want to see Michigan-Florida again? Let's, yeah, let's take a look at the Wolverines here. So yeah. their likely bowls are the Peach or the Fiesta Bowl. They could get sent out west. I don't tend to think that makes a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Fiesta Bowl, but you kind of always get screwed in a yeah, lot they, of ways they when, do. when it comes to the bowls. Um, if Ohio State does make the college football playoff, mm -hmm. Michigan would go to the Rose Bowl. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, in my mind, do we want another Michigan-Florida matchup? We've seen that play out, and Michigan has hammered Florida multiple times. Yeah. Let's get a different one. Somebody set up this Michigan-LSU matchup. I'd love to see it. I think it'd be great. I might, mean, might it not could be, that be much a scoring. It could be a 3-2 <laughs> to two game. Uh, James Yoder, of course, thinks Michigan will, will hammer LSU just like they did Penn State. Uh, I don't know about which, that. Which Sorry, LSU James. defense do we get? The the one against a and or the one for much of the season? I guess which Michigan defense do we get? Because all of a sudden, Michigan's defense looks vulnerable with that Ohio State. Good point. Blah, Very wow. good point. All right, let's keep moving on. Fiesta Bowl, we've got UCF and Florida. If only the Orange Bowl was one of the New York Six Bowls. Yes, this, would be this perfect is for very them. much a Orange Bowl matchup. Of course, UCF probably not going to get that opportunity at the CFP but they will be the highest ranked group of five teams. And they could take down Florida and take down an in-state rival, I, I guess is what we'll call it, even though they, in theory, won't have Mackenzie Milton. Hey, that, that's why I like this one. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. I, it, I do wish it was in a different location than, than the Fiesta yeah. Bowl, but of course. UCF will get up for that game. The Rose, Florida, I, th I think, will too. The Rose Bowl will be your typical Big Ten versus Pac-12 championship matchup this year. Again, Ohio State versus Washington. Assumes Oklahoma to the CFP. Mm -hmm. Ohio State fans, I know you're mad about that. Sorry. Um, but Not if you sorry. do make it into the CFP, you'd see Michigan and Washington here, yeah. of course. And I think this is still at least an intriguing Rose Bowl matchup. And in the end, they do get two of the better teams that missed out, Ohio State and Washington. Assuming, of course, Washington wins. If Utah wins, Utah goes to the yep. Rose Bowl instead. So there are still some very much projections and areas for stuff to change here in these matches. And these are our projections at this point in time with championship Saturday still to play. And the random games too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Couple of random games this weekend. The Sugar Bowl, uh, this one could be controversial in a, in a mm -hmm. few ways. Uh, Georgia, that is uh, mostly an easy pick. Uh, unless they unless win. They win. Uh, and then you've got Texas who mm -hmm. we're slotting here instead of West Virginia. Um, Tom, go ahead. What do you think on that? Well, I think that obviously there's politics involved here, and you can make an argument for West Virginia or for Texas, but who would the Big 12 rather send to this game? Texas, well, right? Who would the Sugar Bowl rather have? That's really the question. Texas. Exactly. They, they want Texas in that one. I'm sorry, West Virginia, Texas is a much bigger draw. And frankly, I would rather see Georgia play Texas than Georgia play West Virginia. And I think that you can make the argument, oh, Texas has more losses. They've also played, in theory, two more games than West Virginia. Not even in theory. It will it be is, two yeah. more games so after I don't, this weekend. I don't think you want to penalize Texas for losing an extra game because they played in the Big 12. And plus, they're going to be a better draw. And in the end, the bowl games want to sell. That's the main point, right? Go ahead and vote here in our poll. Which is the best projected New Year's Six matchup that we've put together so far? Michigan, LSU, Type 1. UCF, Florida, Type 2. Ohio State, Washington type three, or Georgia, Texas type I, four? I, I kind of want to go with Georgia, Texas. Uh, I'd probably go Michigan, LSU. That's my second one. I think I, I, I think those are all great games and certainly yeah. all ones that you want to watch uh, <laughs> uh, on, well, they're not all on New Year's. But you're course, all going to watch the bowl games. Exactly. So. All right, let's take a quick look at the number of bowl eligible teams by conference. The uh, ACC with 11 this year, Damn. SEC also with 11. Uh, the ACC with 11, by the way, that assumes that Virginia Tech wins this mm -hmm. weekend, which may or may not happen. Big 12 with 7, Big 10 with 9, and the Pac-12 with 7. Mm -hmm. In terms of the group of 5, the American had 7 bowl-eligible mm -hmm. teams. Conference USA, MAC, Mountain West all with 6, and then the Sun Belt with 5. We do have more bowl-eligible teams than there are bowl game slots this year, by yes. the way. We do not need any 5 and 7 teams to play in bowls 
this year. All right, we're going to take a look through the remainders of the Bulls. We're going to go in order of interest, interest, relevance, bowl game you might want to actually watch. Yep, bowl game that you might want to actually watch. And the first one up is the Alamo Bowl. So one note here, Tom, is that we do not slot Washington State mm -hmm. to a New Year's Six Bowl. We slotted Florida instead, which, of course, Florida mm -hmm. does have one more loss, but is also higher ranked in the CFP. And I do want to make a note here that I think a West Virginia-Washington State matchup and a Georgia versus Texas, that could be the flip there for Texas-West Virginia. Yep. I think that's more intriguing for both of those bowl games. I, I want to see that high-flying offensive attack. Well, look, the Alamo Bowl would love to have Texas, of oh, course, yes, as well. Mm -hmm. And one note, too, in the Texas versus West Virginia um, debate, only one team in the CFP era has ever made mm -hmm. a New Year's Six Bowl with four losses, and that was Auburn in two, uh, 2016. They were eight and four, had losses to like number one, number two, number, <laughs> and number five or something. So crazy. there's our Alamo Bowl ma matchup, West Virginia versus Washington State. That would be a fun one to watch. A lot of points in that game, potentially. Citrus Bowl, Penn State versus Kentucky. Yeah, okay. I, I'm intrigued. Yeah, okay. K Kentucky's been good this Tom, year, but, but you know all I've, over been, the I've been pro trade. Kentucky this year. Give me Penn State, by the way, in this bowl game, though. So a lot of bowl games. With like going out on a high note. A lot of bowl games coming up this year, of course. A lot of college football games. Only a few left. Want to know if you guys will bet on bowl games this year? Type bet for yes. Type nah for no. Tom, it makes it so much more fun. It does. I mean, and like, look, no one's going to go watch the Birmingham Bowl, really. But nope. if you bet on it, maybe you will. Bet. Maybe you will. Maybe it makes it a little bit more interesting. It's just like fantasy football. Why do you play fantasy football? To make the games yeah. of the Jaguars versus the Bills more interesting. <laughs> well, they had the fight, though, so it's okay. Well, there was a fight, yeah, yeah. That did make it more interesting. If you are going to bet, if you type bet in the comment section, use our promo code LIVE120 with BetDSI at chatsports.com slash bet. If you use that URL, drop you right into BetDSI and get you hooked up with that special, exclusive 120% deposit bonus. All right, let's keep moving on. Holiday Bowl, Utah versus Iowa. We're into the Big Ten and Pac-12 matchup here, Tom. I feel like the Holiday Bowl is never as good as it should be. Like, I feel like it should always have two better Pac-12 Big Ten teams. It always yeah. kind of just ends up being average. It's kind of moved up and down in the bowl pecking yeah. order. And we talked about this off air before the show. Uh, the bowl pecking order has kind of changed. There's, it's kind of all like pooled together, and the conferences work with the bulls to just kind of find the best and, matchups. And, and anymore. the failing ESPN owns so many that they just kind of shuffle around the order too. Yeah. So uh, I know Utah fans, you're probably mad at us for not putting you in some other bowl that's better. The or Rose worse, Bowl, because they think they're going to win, right? Well, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, there you go. Good point. Uh, but <laughs> a lot of these are kind of coin flip, and so yeah, we'll are. get we'll get further down the list, and you'll be like wait, what bowl are we talking about? And wait, which team is bowl eligible? Anyway, the Outback Bowl, usually a very interesting bowl. We've got Northwestern and Mississippi State slotted here. I actually think this could be a really intriguing matchup. I actually think it could because I want to see if Mississippi State can end the year in a high and out. Northwestern, meanwhile, they could be coming off a pretty big loss to Ohio State. That's kind of one of the, it's not necessarily the name brand teams per se, but I think there's enough talent on both sides that it's worth watching. It would be a great quarterback matchup, too. It would be, yeah. Thorson and Fitzgerald, two uh, two very solid quarterbacks mm -hmm. that have had up and down seasons at times. Especially but Fitzgerald. Yeah, yeah, and then Thorson, though, has played well of late, and Northwestern's defense has just been great. And Mississippi has State's defense, defense is, is great, too. That's that could be four. a 6-5 to five game. That could be. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the bowl-eligible teams within the Big Ten. Of course, you've got Ohio State and Michigan. Penn State at 9-3, and three, Northwestern and Iowa are your 8-4 and four teams. A sneaky 8-4 and four Iowa team. Yeah, very sneaky. Uh, and then you've got 7-5, and five, Michigan State and Wisconsin. Both disappointing years there. Throwback to when Wisconsin was top five. Yeah, throwback. <laughs> and then they fell apart. They really did fall apart. So did Sparty, frankly. That, that was a disappointing season. Their offense yeah. pretty much went into hibernation once it got cold up there in oh, East yeah. Lansing. Uh, Purdue and Minnesota at 6-6. Six and six. If we look at the SEC Bowl eligible teams, of course, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, LSU, and Kentucky. We've already seen in our projections. Mm -hmm. And then you've got AM, Mississippi State, and Missouri at eight and four. Auburn's at seven and five. South Carolina and Vandy both have six wins. Mm -hmm. No, Tom, they aren't both six and six, though. South Carolina is six and five. One of those hurricane games that got canceled. That's exactly right. All right, let's keep moving on, moving on. The Gator Bowl. So the Gator Bowl and the Music City Bowl. Both ha you know, have an obligation to take mm -hmm. a Big Ten school either this year or next year, and they flip-flop. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so it's an educated guess again. It's a bit of a coin flip here. At this point in time, we're going to go Big Ten Wisconsin to the Gator Bowl. 
to play Texas A&M. And then the Texas Bowl, I like this matchup right here, Tom. Big eight, old school, Missouri, Oklahoma State. Keep, Lots of points. Keep Lots doing of this points. Texas Bowl. Keep Lots doing this type of, of thing. Points. Drew Locke and, and Taylor Cornelius, you're going to have a lot of air you know, time with the ball. Oh, lots. All of, kinds of scoring. Lots and lots of points. Of course, uh, let's take a look at the Big 12's bowl eligible teams, Oklahoma and Texas, of course. We've seen West Virginia, Iowa State, sneaky good year. Mm -hmm. Matt Campbell's done such a great job. They're game against Drake, right? They do play so this week against Drake. So a win against so Drake. So <laughs> expect them to be eight and four for, uh, for bowl yeah. purposes. And then you've got TCU, Baylor, and Oklahoma State, all with well, TCU and Oklahoma State with maybe somewhat disappointing years. So. Baylor, Baylor, what Matt a, Rule has done is impressive. It they is. were 1-11. and 11 and That program was, six was and six on the verge of dying, and now Matt Rule's got them in a bowl game. That's, yeah. That is really impressive. Will Matt Rule stay at Baylor? No. Yeah, he's going he, to have NFL interest, Yep. by the way. All right, let's keep moving on, moving on. SEC versus ACC in the Belk Bowl. This is perfect. That's in Charlotte, by the way. This is a perfect matchup. Two Carolina teams in the Belk Bowl. Look I at, love look it. Look at what we're doing I here, I love it. Yeah, I, I think uh, this is one of those geography makes a lot of sense type of bowls, and that's what we've got here. The Music City Bowl, like I said, the Gator Bowl took the Big Ten school, so the Music City Bowl mm -hmm. has the ACC with the SEC, Auburn versus Miami. Two disappointing teams this year. Yeah, very much so, but a certainly brand, a it's brand a, it's, name It's a name matchup. brand, exactly. Yeah, I totally agree. would be a very interesting one. Totally All right, agree. let's look at the ACC's bowl eligible teams. Clemson, Syracuse at 9-3. and three. So, anyway, uh, Clemson and then everybody else. Clemson and then the mediocre ACC. Oh, my God. I mean, you've got 7-5 <laughs> and five all over the place in the ACC this year. Georgia Tech, Virginia, all that Miami, good. Duke, Wake Forest, 7-5. and five. Uh, One yeah, note, yeah. you do not see them on the list there. Virginia Tech can get bowl eligible this weekend with a win over Marshall. One of those silly games where they go play the extra game at the end of the year to get themselves bowl eligible. Well, that like was a that hurricane thing. game too, right? Eh, or, yeah, it is, yeah. but still. Yeah, so Virginia Tech currently yeah. sitting at five and six mm -hmm. with a win, would get bowl eligible. You may see them in our projections hint, hint. later on, hint, hint. Exactly. Pinstripe Bowl, Boston College versus Michigan State. BC seems like a good fit for the Pinstripe Bowl. Yes, and you know, BC, a uh, certainly a decent season for yeah. BC, you know. This could also be like a 10-7 to 7 kind of Ooh. slow, ugly game, especially if it's cold and or a little windy or maybe some snow. I guess or. if A.J. Dillon could get going. Yeah. That I don't could trust be Michigan right. State's offense to get going. We'll, we'll, get a, we'll get to a question about something okay. like that later there in the show. I uh, do want to know from you guys, are there too many bowls? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Look, when Baylor, TCU, Oklahoma State, Virginia Tech, all these schools at 6-6 six and six get to go play in a bowl, yeah, there are too many bowls. I like bowl games. Okay. I don't but think that, but do, Okay. All right. That does answer the question. It's, uh, so I, I so think, should Kansas State and five and seven really go to a bowl game? No, but we have, but we actually have then too we have many the, teams Then this in year. that case, we have the right amount of bowls. Sure. So uh, I feel, so guys, I, I, we will get, I am personally will offended. Get to why you know Tom is personally offended, offended by this later in the video. All right. La Liberty Bowl, Vanderbilt and Baylor, the two private schools. That makes sense. Sure. I'm, I'm down with that one. Okay. I, I might tune in here. It's, you know. No. No, I think no. Baylor wins that game. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. All right, new bowl alert, the Red Box Bowl. Yeah, the Red Box, as in where you get uh, DVD rentals. Oh. DVD rentals is still a thing, even though uh, Blockbuster died. RIP. Uh, the Red Box that's a fun, Bowl. That's a fun The Red bowl Box game. Bowl is the formerly known as the, the Foster, Foster Farms, Farms Bowl. Okay, so and what was it before that? It, it said all kinds of names, uh, right? Yeah. All kinds of we should, we California should get, names. We should get our, uh, our stats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stats on stat, statisticians on, yeah, stat on that one, but Oregon, you could see uh, Justin Herbert, uh, of course, uh, decide to go to the NFL draft oh, this so year. It was a Kraft Farms Bowl. The Kraft Farms. That's Bowl. what it was. Okay, yeah. Or it was also foods. something else too. Kraft Foods. No, it was something else too. The it's Diamond the, the Diamond Foods the, Bowl. Which wasn't that I like the know. Diamond Almonds? Something. Yeah. Anyway. The, oh, the Kraft Fight Hunger Bowl. Yeah. Uh, it was the Emerald Bowl. All right, uh, we are we are the yes, the, the Diamond the, Walnut the, Bowl. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, we are, we are. I love playing the. Off the rails I with the love Redbox playing ball. this is what the used to be bowl game called game. But what we did want to talk about here was whether or not players should skip bowl games to prep for the NFL draft. Obviously, it's a case by case basis. I understand it. Like, yeah. I, I, I personally would want to play because I like bowl games, yeah. they're fun. But if you're going to be a top, for, if you're going to be a first round pick, you don't, is it really worth risking it? Like, you know, if you're going to go play in the Sun Bowl, 
uh, maybe just skip it and get ready for the NFL draft and don't take that extra it, risk. Isn't injury. that the bowl game that Christian McCaffrey was supposed to go I, play I in? think so. Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> so we bring this up here. Justin Herbert could easily be the number one overall pick. Yeah. Uh, he might come at, back at though. Oregon. But exactly. He mm -hmm. might come back. He might not. We could see Rashawn Gary mm -hmm. skip the bowl game. I could easily see that happening uh, considering he's been banged up this year. All right, let's keep moving on. And speaking of the Sun Bowl, are we going to call it Cal versus Pitt or California versus Pittsburgh? It's the short name game. It's Cal versus Pitt. All right, there you go. Uh, give me Cal, by the way, because I actually don't think Pitt is very good this year. But someone has to go play Clemson in the ACC title game, right? Oh, my God. Pitt's going to actually absolutely get steamrolled. Pitt's never game. lost to Clemson, Brett. Pitt has never lost to Clemson. 0-2. <laughs> Clemson. All right, bowl-eligible teams within the Pac-12, Washington State, Washington, Utah, and Oregon. You've seen them so far. Mm -hmm. You'll get to see Stanford, Cal, and Arizona State and in our Stanford, projections Cal coming get, up. Stanford, Cal do get to play this weekend as well. Stanford, Cal, the band is on the field. Speaking of Arizona State, we've got them slotted to the Las Vegas Bowl against Boise State, the champion of the Mountain West. You play to win the game, Brett. Play to win the Give game. Give me Boise State. I, it Sorry, could be Brett. Fresno, though, if Fresno yeah, true. wins in the Mountain West Conference that's Championship true. game. If you like Boise, if you like Fresno, go bet on it with our friends at BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code is LIVE120. It's an exclusive deposit bonus, 120%. Mitchell Wren says it. You're not going to find it anywhere else on the internet because it doesn't exist. It's the best promo code out there mm -hmm. to go bet on college football, the mm -hmm. NFL, and much, much more. It's NBA season and college basketball season, mm -hmm. too. All right, let's keep moving on. Tom, Camping World Bowl. Uh, maybe a sneaky good game. Some great old names for this one, too. This used to be the Russell Athletic Bowl, the Champ Sports Bowl, and the Tangerine Bowl, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, I'm not going to go any further back This one that. is play. This one's a very uh, unimaginative bowl name. Mm -hmm. It is played in Camping World Stadium in Orlando, which hosts the most amount of bowl games. It's three this year, right? Yeah. Nice, Matt. All right. In terms of bowls that have changed names a lot of times, we're going to the Cheez-It Bowl, which, Tom, you got the list? The Cactus Bowl. It was briefly the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. It was the Insight Bowl. Yep. And if you're going to go way, way back, how about the Copper Bowl? <laughs> you were just naming bowl games after things. So, Tom, you named each one of those. My alma mater, Kansas State, yeah. has named it, played in each one of those. <laughs> That's hilarious. Including the Copper Bowl back in 93. All right, let's move on to the Military Bowl, Georgia Tech versus Cincinnati. This That's one's a fun in game for me, actually. You got the triple option yep. offense in Tech and a UC team that was surprisingly good this season. The Independence Bowl, we've got Virginia and BYU. Ooh, it's the Bronco Mendenhall revenge game. You like that? Oh, see? yeah, I yeah, love I it. see what I did there. There you go. I didn't even realize that the first time I looked through these. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be, you know, it would be more fun if all of these bowls were actually slotted at like one singular level, yeah. like up top, so like you could do you all just, like, these draft like, fun matchups. Yeah, yeah exactly. Great. The quick lane bowl, we've got Duke slotted against Minnesota and Ford right. Field. That's not too bad, I sure, guess. Sure, why not? That's fine. Birmingham bowl, we are talking Birmingham bowl. All right. It is in Birmingham, people. Right. Temple Shocker. versus Wake Imagine if they played Forest. it, not in Birmingham. All right, we're starting to get into the group of five teams and their bowl games. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the uh, the American uh, bowl eligible teams. Mm -hmm. Of course, UCF going to go to a New Year's Six Bowl. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati had a great year at 10-2. and two. Memphis and Houston and Temple are all 8-4 and four with decent seasons. South Florida and then Tulane. Look mm -hmm. at Tulane getting bowl yeah. eligible. W Willie Fritz, folks. Willie uh, Fritz I'll getting a little bit of interest uh, to uh, to move on in the uh, college football coaching world. And, of course, speaking of Tulane, Mac Brown. Oh, yes. Back, he, back at UNC. Back at UNC now, who is not bowl eligible this year. <laughs> no, they're not. All right. Two fun bowls that I really yes. want to talk about. The Bahamas Bowl. Sorry, Tom. Miami of Ohio did not get to One go One of there. these years they're going to go. This is not actually even a projected bowl matchup. This is the matchup. Florida International versus Toledo. It has already been announced. Remember when Popeyes sponsored it and Popeyes didn't have any Popeyes in the Bahamas? I remember. <laughs> it was fun time. Makers Wanted is the sponsor this year. No, that's not Makers Mark. The Hawaii Bowl, Hawaii versus Southern Miss. Southern Miss is a projection, but Hawaii has been announced. They will play there as the Shocker. host school. Shocker, <laughs> they play there pretty much all the time. But of course, Tom, where Hawaii's would you rather go? Uh, give me the Bahamas Bowl. I think there, I would take the Bahamas as well. There is no wrong answer. There's never but a wrong give answer. Give me the Bahamas. Bahamas versus Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I'd take the Bahamas as well. Yeah. But there is surfing in Hawaii where it's not in the Bahamas. But I'm not so. a surfer, so. I'm, I'm, well, neither am I, but I love boogie boarding. I'm, I'm going on the beach and, and, you know, have some drinks all day long, guy. 
Well, you get that in both places, that's so true. there is no wrong that's answer. True. All right, let's keep moving on here. The Arizona Bowl, yeah, that's a thing. Okay. All right, Arkansas State versus Nevada. Once again, Arkansas State has been announced that they will play in that bowl. Nevada is the only projection on that one. Okay. I'm probably not going to watch that one, if I'm being honest, guys. No, that one's on CBS Sportsnet. I don't even know if anybody has CBS, CBS Sportsnet. Can't even get it on the real CBS. Wow. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, brutal, the, brutal Arizona Bowl. I think Bowl. the Arizona Bowl actually last year was on Stadium. That possibly. sounds right. Like sounds only right on the actually. internet. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the Sun Belt Bowl eligible teams. Appalachian State, Troy. Did I say that right? Yeah. They get mad. Appalachian. Yeah, they get like mad. Like latches is in the middle. They get mad. Mm -hmm. uh, Georgia Southern at 9-3 to as well. A couple good year for them. A couple of good years there. Arkansas State, Louisiana. That is Louisiana Lafayette. They're mm -hmm. just Louisiana now. Which feels but like cheating. Most people still call them Lafayette. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Louisiana Monroe, who you may not see in our projections. Sorry, Sorry. guys. Mm. All right, let's take a look at the Mountain West. Uh, Boise, Fresno, Utah State, uh, real top-heavy conference this year in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. but three really good seasons from those schools. Mm -hmm. uh, Boise versus Fresno in the Mountain West Conference Championship this year. Hawaii, you just saw them there at 8-4. and four. Then Nevada, San Diego State, and Wyoming. Wyoming could be on the outside looking in as well since there are more teams bowl eligible mm -hmm. than uh, bowls. Yeah. All right, the Frisco Bowl, that is near us here in Frisco, Texas. Tulane versus Western Michigan. All right, Tom, bowl trivia. Okay. Where is the first responder bowl? Because that's the next one we're going to talk about. Can I give them hints uh, by, by pointing out some of the previous names? Don't Google it. Don't Google it. All right, so. Previous names. Ticket City Bowl. Yep. <laughs> the Plains Capital Bank Bowl. I don't remember it being called that. I honestly don't either. How about the Zaxby's Bowl? So it wasn't actually the Zaxby's Bowl. It was and the we will... Zaxby's Heart of Dallas Bowl. So there you go. There you now you go. know where the first responder bowl is. North Texas versus Virginia Tech. I think North Texas does make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Where Virginia Tech ends up going if they do beat Marshall and get to bowl Total guess. Will be one of these really lower tier bowls uh, as like a fill-in for mm -hmm. uh, you know bowl slots that aren't being filled. So the first responder bowl, for example, here, the Big Ten or the Big 12, if they had teams available, would actually fill this slot instead of Virginia Tech. This is a Conference USA uh, bowl tie-in. And so North Texas, Texas, perfect fit there. Boca Raton Bowl, uh, we've got Marshall, who I guess loses to Virginia Tech this weekend mm -hmm. by our projections, uh, versus South Florida. The New Orleans Bowl, uh, the winner of uh, App State and Louisiana, yes, do uh, will go to this bowl. The loser goes to the Cure Bowl. We're mm -hmm. projecting App State there versus Louisiana Tech. That's a good matchup for the New Orleans Bowl. App State's been there several times, if I recall correctly. Uh, the Gasparilla Bowl. Gasparilla Bowl. Gasparilla Bowl. Yeah. Middle Tennessee versus Memphis. Bonus points if you can tell me what a Gasparilla is. Bonus points. <laughs> it's a pirate. <laughs> All right. In probably the uh, a, a feel-good story of the year, Tom, in the New Mexico Bowl, UAB versus Fresno. UAB, what they have done. Bill with Clark's my boy. No program last year to nine wins this year is just straight up Bill, impressive. Bill Clark is my boy. He should win Coach of the Year every year. He should have won it last year, should win it again this season. I mean, National Coach of the Year in my mind. Yeah. I mean, it, he won't win it, but. He won't because it's stupid, but I he mean, deserves it. Nine wins after not having a team last year is mm -hmm. just insane. Is. All right, let's take a look at the Conference USA's bowl eligible teams UAB, North Texas at nine and three. Middle Tennessee, Marshall, uh, eight wins apiece, as well as Florida International, and then Louisiana Tech and Southern All Miss. All kinds of bowl eligible teams this year. You will see Southern Miss being left off of mm -hmm. a lot of projections out there. I think they sneak in. The Conference, Conference USA has seven bowl tie-ins. I think mm -hmm. Southern Miss gets it. Uh, it would at least make some, some sense. sense. Yeah. All right, the Cure Bowl, Houston and Louisiana. Uh, okay. Ed Oliver, maybe? That's kind of the, the Well, I there. think this is probably where you ask the question, will Ed Oliver even play in that game? He loves Houston, so I wouldn't be overly surprised. But he's well, mad at Ma Major Applewhite? They seem to be okay now. Oh, also, but, he, but he is banged up. They're back to best buds. Okay, yeah. cool. Dollar General Bowl, Buffalo versus Troy. Uh, Buffalo, what a season, Tom. That is a record-setting season for Buffalo. Lance Leopold, their head coach, has done a fantastic job there. Are you making up names? No, I'm not. Buffalo, 10-2, and two, leads the max bowl-eligible teams, Ohio, Northern Illinois and Toledo. Mm -hmm. Then you've got directional Michigan, Eastern and Western at seven and five. And Tom, 
The Red Hawks at six and six. Bowl eligible. I don't want to talk about it. Will right we now. see them on our projections as we get further and further down the list? Don't want to talk about it. Only three bowls left to fill our projected slots. All right, the Camellia Bowl. Northern Illinois and Georgia Southern. That is in the Crampton Bowl, by the way. That's why, a stadium. Why would you call stadium Crampton? <laughs> Famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Utah State's going to get sent there after their great season, so they're going to have to go back to where they just lost to Boise. Mm, Sorry. Fun. <laughs> and then lastly, the Armed Forces Bowl, San Diego State and Army. Mm -hmm. Tom, that means we've left some schools out. <sighs> yep, we did. Ah, we've left some schools out. Here are the bowl eligible teams that we have left out. Take your pick, Eastern or Western Michigan. We left out Eastern. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's it's probably not fair. And then we've got your Red Hawks of Miami. It's not fair. It's going going bowling. Six. UL Monroe. Let's create some extra six. bowl games. So let's just add two more bowl games for these schools. Yeah, but then next year we'll have not enough teams. That's and okay. Have like ten, five, and seven. That's okay. Just that just this year only two extra bowl games. All right. Maybe they could just we'll, go play each other. In we'll a let Eastern Michigan play Wyoming, and Miami gets to play UL Monroe. How about that? Wyoming at six and six, and then Liberty has an asterisk there. Uh, they have a game this weekend to get to six and six, but they but aren't going to get in. They, they as an independent school, they would have to rely on bowl tie-ins. They have a tie-in to the Cure Bowl, mm -hmm. which has will have itself filled. So there you go. So, there you go. This has been College Football Now and our bowl projections. Be sure to follow Tom on Twitter at What's Going Downy, and be sure to subscribe YouTube.com/slash ChatSportsTV.